Hi guys, I am Isa. Today we're going to learn how to, learn how to make a cursor in Pi Game. So first, I'm just going to set up the Pi Game. I'm going to write Pi Game dot in it. Then we'll write display. I'm going to say Pi Game dot display dot set mode. 800, 600. All true. This is a see while run. I'm gonna make a variable called run, which is equal to true. So while run for events in pygame.events.get. If events.type is equal to pygame.quit. Run equals false. Now pygame.display.update. Now let me run this. Then let's say current file. I'm going to change this to this pie game or quits. So now it shows this pie game window. Anyways, we're going to make our cursor class. So we're going to make a new Python file. Cursor, that's pie. I'm going to say class cursor. And so I want to say def in it self well, I'm also going to say import pi game I'm going to say that in it self and then I'm going to also add well nothing else because the so I'm going to say self dot spr equal to pi game dot image dot load now I don't have a sprite for this, so I'm just gonna quickly make a cursor sprite. Make it black. No. Whatever. Enough. Now I'm just export it. I'm going to say it's high game cursor. I'm going to call it image.png. I'm going to load image.png. But this image.png is not the size we want. I'm going to say pygame.transform.scale. Pygame.load image.png. And I'm going to say 32 by 32 pixels. Or. Uh, Wait, that's better. So I'm going to say def draw. So so or I'm just going to say self dot x is equal to zero, self dot y is equal to zero because I'm going to set that later. So I'm going to say pass. I'm going to say self def update. So so I'm going to write pass here. I'm just draw self. I'm also going to add self dot root is equal to pygame dot surface dot get. Wait, no, pygame dot display or get surface. I'm going to say self dot root dot bullet self dot spr self dot x comma self dot y. So now I'm going to say C equals cursor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna also gonna have to import the cursor. So from cursor import cursor. I'm gonna say C dot draw. Now let me just uh, change this to a tuple.
So now, nothing is happening. Well, I mean, it's because, well, the sea is black. So, I'm going to say pygame. I'm going to say display.fill. 255, 255, 255. I'm going to have those. I'll change this to a tuple. No, it still doesn't show. Well, to fix this, we're going to, you know, run this update function. So, for example, let's just write self.x equals 50 and self.y equals 50. So, we're going to run the c.update before c.draw. Now, if we run the file, I'm going to Let's see that draw after a display dot fill. Okay, so now it's after the display dot fill. We're going to play the file again. Now it shows. When the self dot update, the self dot x is equal to pygame dot mouse dot get cursor. Get cursor zero because that's the x and so that y we get cursor one. Yeah, it's gonna be get pose. So now if I run the file Going to where our mouse is. It's not always centered properly. So I'm going to minus both of these by um, 16 because the sprite's width and height is 32. So, you know. So I made this cursor. I'm also going to give it a rack so a rack so I'll be able to collide with things. So self dot rect equal to pygame dot rect dot rect. So but to uh, have the and to the left to the left. So the left will be self dot x and be self dot y three two three two. Gonna put that over here. And the update's gonna put it here. And you write self dot Self dot rect self dot x comma self dot y but I can't really just with self dot rect so I'm going to say s equal to pi game dot surface so when it's pi game dot surface I'm gonna have that to its size oh, sorry. So I'm going to say self dot rect dot x self dot rect dot y. Now I'm going to have that to so two, so two. So self dot. So let's go to put s. I'm going to change this. this. Alright, so now I'm here. our card file. See that's creating this weird thing. Which is not supposed to happen. Going to change this to three two three three two. So I don't have to enter the width and height here. So self dot root up with s self dot rest dot x self dot rect dot y now you can see that the rect is working perfectly now we don't need this anymore so if you want you can use this rect to collide with things but that's going to be the end of today's tutorial if you enjoyed, leave like and subscribe so bye